for the plane to go. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, I'm just going to be, it's just going to be a quick episode. So I'm actually just starting revamping the workshop. I've done this window area already. As you can see, the walls have got some pretty nasty cracks in them. I've filled this one already. I've got some um, acrylic resin gap filler coming probably Friday. So I've been filling with this just general cement. A little bit Jimmy O on the uh, computer there. Probably the best channel out on YouTube, I think. And this one here, as you can see, this one is absolutely massive. So I've started filling it, but it goes all the way down. So I am hoping it's not structural. I'm going to check the outside later, see if it's the same. It goes down there as well. You can see that. So I'm going to whack some cement in there. Push as much as I can in. Like I say, I've got the epoxy um, gap filler coming. It's like a stitch kit. You pour it in and it stitches the bricks together. It's like an epoxy resin, so that hopefully should be stronger than the cement. Bind it all together. So. Uh, Start working some cement in and go from there. So as you can see I've whacked as much cement in there as I can, really pushed it in there. So what I'm going to do now is have a quick look outside, see how it is on the outside wall. It's a bit of a tight squeeze down here actually. Yeah there's a bit of a crack there there. Quite a big one actually. So I'm going to have to pump a load of stuff in there as much as I can, I think. Doesn't look very good, does it? If you can see it down here, and through the jungle. It's got this brace around here, I don't know if that's to hold it up or what. Well that's good news because the, the crack in the main corner isn't all the way through. There's a little bit of one there. But I can pump some of that resin into there as well. But it's an old building, it's built in 1750 so it's not lasting too bad. Oh shit spiders. Yeah it's just this one here which is the worst one. So I'll pump a load of stuff in there I think. So if I can support it as much as possible. It's quite a deep one there. So it's a couple of days later now and I've pumped the uh, acrylic resin into the actual cracks. I need to tidy it up a little bit. It's not fully dry yet, still a little bit soft. The cement's drying quite nicely. So what I think I'll do next is I'll mix some more cement up and do the outside and then I'll pump some more uh, of this resin in to the rest of the walls. But while that was drying I took the uh, Nissan out for a quick spin to buy some essential supplies. And I did notice this wheel was making, or oh, this brake disc was making quite a little bit of noise and this wheel was quite warm. So I think I'm going to whip this wheel off, have a look at the caliper because it sounds like it's sticking on a little bit. So I'll get the car jacked up and whip the wheel off. <laughs> So as you can see, I've stripped it all down. These are the original uh, calipers. They're not in bad condition, but I have noticed the actual uh, 
piston rubbers split there and I've got a slight tear in that piston there as well so I think I'm going to see if I can get a rebuild kit I think see if I can put these up you can upgrade these to uh, GTIR actual calipers so I might even look into that as well but I'm going to give these a good clean up see if I can't um, push this piston out a little bit more so I can clean it up and the actual carrier I can easily clean all that up and repaint all that so I'm going to do that I think next pads are still pretty good the discs are pretty much brand new a little bit scored there so it's obviously not been seating right somewhere so I'm going to have a look at that clean everything up while the wheel's off as well I'm going to clean all up on the uh, clean all the plastics up clean the back of the wheel as well because that's a little bit of dust and dirt on there there's a few little bits to get on with carrier all cleaned up, done the best I can with the grinder and the angle hair dye grinder. It's not too bad. Could do with sandblasting really. So Stan if you're listening, if you're watching, I'm first on your list when you get your sandblasting cabinet. So I've got another uh, three of these to do. But I think it'll do for now. I'll crack on with the caliper now. And let's see if I can clean that up a little bit. So I actually opened the piston by uh, pressing on the brake. I put a block of wood in here so the actual uh, piston didn't come all the way out. And it seems to be quite free and I pushed it back in with the uh, brake service tool. Which is quite handy. Got a nice little kit. It's got the different bits on there. So what I'm going to do now is clean all this up as best I can. Give it a good coat of paint. Clean out all the uh, runners. I think I will order a service kit as well anyway just to uh, replace this rubber here seal just to make sure it's all uh, perfect and then uh, I was thinking about upgrading to GTIR brakes but I'll probably just stick to these I think just give them a good clean and a good service but I think a good service on these would make them uh, like brand new again you can see the actual seal is pretty much shot I think it'll be fine for now because it doesn't get moved a lot, doesn't use it a lot. I clean it all out and then I get the service kit ordered. Pop all the piston out, replace all the uh, seals and etc. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm going to clean all this off. I think I'll just paint and start again. Get a nice smooth finish. Okay, a little bit more sanding then. There we go, all rebuilt and painted. So the next step is to order a rebuild kit so I can uh, replace all the seals on the pistons and on the uh, rubbers here and at the bottom. I'm just going to refresh them up a little bit. So it should be alright for now. Feels a lot better, the pads went in nice and easy because I ground all the rust from the back over here. I painted all inside the actual um, carrier as well so it looks a lot nicer, a lot neater now. Got the braided hoses on here anyway, the hell lines are a lot better than the standard ones. Cleaned up underneath as well. It's a little bit prettier. So on the next video I'll probably be uh, rebuilding the brake calipers. So if you want to join me on that one, most appreciated. So like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers! Mm -hmm.